So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the partner of record for the client tenant that I've just set up. So what I'm going to do firstly is I'm going to sign into that tenant as the administrator for that tenant. So at the moment, the only thing that I do have in there is uh, just the uh, one license and one user. I haven't set up my users yet, but what we can do is we can certainly set the partner of record. Now, the way that we do that is we go to the Office 365 Admin Center, uh, which you can get to again by going to uh, the App Launcher in the top left-hand corner and selecting the Admin Tile. But if we go to the billing, uh, the billing option here, so down on the left-hand side, if we then go into our subscriptions, Okay, so what we will see is these are the subscriptions that we have. There may be more than them, uh, more than the one here. So what we'll see here is obviously we've got our users, our purchased. We can extend this and the plan. Now, if we want to add our partner of record, what we need to do is we need to select the more actions option here under the license type. Pull that down. One of the options that we see here is to add a partner of record. Okay, so if I now select that, I get a, a tile that then pops out uh, from the right hand side. And what I need to do then is I basically then need to put in my Microsoft partner number. Now, of course, what's going to ha have to happen is you need to make sure that you have all your cloud competencies up to date and you've registered for Microsoft and that's all verified before you do that. But once you have done all that, that should all be good beforehand, you put in your uh, Microsoft partner ID and then select check ID and that then should give you some green text uh, indicating the partner name. So in this case, Computer Information Agency is the name of my business and we're good. So again, then what I need to do is if I then scroll down and submit that, that will then associate my partner with this account. Okay, so again, you'll see here once I do that, your partner ID has successfully been updated. And then what will happen is, is the administrators of this tenant will also receive uh, an email indicating that the partner of record has changed. So just be aware of that, that not only uh, will you change it in the, in the console, but any global administrators will also receive uh, an email confirming that fact. So again, if I need to change it for any other license, again, I can go back into uh, partner of record. You'll see that I have an ID here. I can go in and put in a new ID if I take over a tenant maybe or change it from another partner. Again, check the ID and then go down and submit it. And once that is complete, then you should see that the partner of record is now set and ready to go. Remember that you will have to do that on all the individual licenses that may be part of the Office 365 tenant. So there could be more than a, license, a single license in there or different options. So make sure that you go in there and do that for every single um, subscription that is part of the client's Office 365 tenant.